Nowadays, knowing Arabic or any foreign language is impressive and very important, especially here in Israel, because of the fact that Israel is surrounded by many Arabic-speaking countries and 20% of its population is Arabs. So it's very essential to know Arabic in order to understand and to communicate with others. Furthermore, Arabic is interesting and catchy because it's very similar to Hebrew and there are lots of funny jokes that you should not miss. As part of my job, I, um, I have a strong, a strong connection with uh, Yazidi from Iraq and we always speak Arabic and it's a good thing because he is, uh, just uh, came recently to the United States as a refugee and I got to learn the story of the Yazidi uh, community in Iraq and we created a very good relation. Uh, we speak over, almost on a daily basis. One of the things that obviously the ability um, for the ability to, to speak Arabic helped me obviously to uh, forge this relation. We can we are talking about the families and uh, he has a couple of uh, family members still in Iraq and in uh, close to the border with Syria. And obviously the, the Arabic is a great bridge to get to know each other. And that's what actually happened. We today are, we are a very good friends. It's because I think I understand their culture much better. And we are, we have much um, a closer relation than otherwise. And, and actually they are very surprised that I'm Israeli, uh, Jewish or Jew, that's speaking Arabic. And that's always kind of, to see the first reaction is kind of funny. But one of the um, nice things that uh, learning and reading Arabic, um, and I do recommend to everybody that's learning this language to be able to read it, is to um, actually go and read newspapers on a daily basis. Today I got to a level that I'm able to read books. I'm, I'm able to read a newspaper, and it's kind of uh, nice because you don't have to go to your mother tongue. Actually, you can go to the source and be able to read the, the news as the people in the Arab world are reading it.